It is October 1944, and Army Group North suffers the unstoppable tide of the Red Army. Stavka plans to encircle the city of Memel. The 43rd Army dashes towards the coast to cut the Germans off from the south. A brutal engagement is about to unfold. The aim is to reach the coast around Mimel. Speed is of the essence. If this attack succeeds, Army Group North will be separated from the main front. That means it will be unavailable for the defense of what the Germans call Reichsgebiet and will cause all kinds of logistical nightmares for the trapped German forces. Dashing toward the west, the 43rd Army meets stiff resistance at no less than four defensive lines. The fighting is fierce. The Red Army wants to reach the Baltic seashore before the Germans can react by retreating from the men. In this mission, you lead the attack on the 3rd Defense Line. Your enemy is the 3rd Panzer Division, or what's left of it. You will need to break through no matter what. of Hell Oster Front. We are in the USSR campaign with the brand new mission, Closing the Pocket. So, let's see what mess we can get up to here. So, counter-attack and drive them out. I'm hoping, because this is the like the Russian push over or back to back to Berlin that I will have some nice big old tanks to play with. That's what I'm hoping. Oh yes boys. That is a good start for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna go forward than that because I'm expecting minefields. Right, what can we get? Standard stuff. Ports. It's just ammo at the moment. Okay. Vehicles is practically nothing. Nothing useful anyway. And tanks. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, we can't get another T-34. Right. Okay, that makes things problematic. Um, so, where do we have to go for medium armor? Up here. Okay, that will be objective number one, without a doubt, is to get up there. Uh, do you actually get anything for paying attention more to the vehicles than the ejector? So uh, that gets us supplies, nice. That gets us AT and support weaponry. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, I assist. Mortars are the bane of my life. I swear to God, absolute bane of my life. Right. What have we got to take out if we can get over here? I'm not sure. I'm, I kind of want to take out just the front section, not deal with the mortar at all, and then just go up this way and just kind of like flank everything and just go up to here. Got a nice little Panzer 3 maybe there, Panzer 4. And then of course, I think every encampment's going to have a mortar. That's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Nothing really. Pack 40s. Yeah. Pack 40 is going to be fun. And flat guns to protect. Do you know, despite the fact that these are usually pretty low, um, low caliber, they can do some serious damage if you, if you don't respect them. I have had multiple attacks in, uh, in previous games that have been completely and utterly destroyed by flat cannons. Right, I'm going to put everything on my left flank because the tanks are going to protect the right. We can actually probably, while we're going, while we're pushing the attack on here, we could have a little bit of skirmishing with the uh, with the German infantry over there without too much of an issue. I think I'm actually going to put you over there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put you over there because you, they've got the flat cannon there anyway to support them, but still. 
give him a bit more firepower. Uh, I'm actually going to split you in half because you are way too many men. Way, 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 way too many men. Okay, let's put all of you. I feel like I've like disproportionately split them. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Right, split there. Exactly the same amount of divide. Ah, uh, that'll do. You chappies. You able to go on that side? Yeah, that'll do. And then you guys can... I don't really want them to go to the fire down the trench line. Uh, I guess you can go there. We have a sniper. We no, that's not what I meant to press. I meant to press a sniper. Infantry squad will do it rather. Oh, I thought it was an actual. Oh, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Right. In that case, we'll have you chappies watch the front line. Guys in there. And where's my sniper? There's my sniper. Wonderful. Uh, do you know what? Actually, you can. Right, let's take this thing out. I don't want to go too far into the field because of the risk of mines. You want to be using HG, you dumbo, not. <laughs> piercing. Oh, I think it's dead anyway. Nice. In that case, let's switch back to armor piercing. That's that gone. Lovely jubbly. Uh, what else is over there? Oh, do I really want to risk that? Is that actually worth it? Oh, bugger. <laughs> Jeez, he was so well camouflaged, I genuinely didn't even see him through the scope. That is insane. Uh, is there anything else I actually want to take out? Oh, hello, yeah, I could see if I can see you. I think you might be a bit too far back for me to do through sights. See, this is where I need, and you're out of range as well. Okay, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go further forward than that because I don't want to risk the mines, and I don't have engineers or anything to clear them out. So in that case, let us push further left. over there take out that pack 40. Damn, those things shift. <laughs> I really like the late war stuff for the uh, for the Russians. It is so, so OP. Especially the heavy stuff. Absolutely OP. There's no way I'll be able to see that through the scope, so... Oh, now you see me. Woo. And it is gone. Properly gone. <laughs> oh, hello. I'll just take you out from feeling nice. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Right, uh, what else up here can they- Oh, I see a mortar pit. 
Okay. I'm expecting some of these to move out at some point. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you doing? Hmm. I saw a panzer crew, didn't I? Yes. I shouldn't call them a panzer crew because they're Russian. They're not. <laughs> they're not a panzer crew at all. <laughs> right. In that case. Right. You go that way. You go that way. You go onto there. That way, I'm hoping we can actually get a hold of this Stug without too much hassle. Right, do you want to come over and hide behind that? Actually, you're probably better to hide behind that. Let me hide behind there. I don't want to get you too close to the AT. Sorry. We kind of rush in and take that. We don't even have our backs to that, aren't we? Do that, do that. Oh, 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 we're in range of the mortar. Okay, no, 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 bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Ay, 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 we just lost half a second. Okay, that mortar's gonna be a pain in the buttocks. I hate mortars. <laughs> So much. I don't even have anything to counter art artillery. Actually, can we use these? No, of course we can't. Can you fix them? No, of course you can't. Wonderful. I bet we have to take that to be able to have. Um... Oh, that's a nice pack 40. And did I just see a tank over there? I do see a tank over there. Hello. Yeah, I bet we have to take that to be able to have artillery support. Or even just mortars. Hmm. That is problematic. Honestly, I'm not hugely bothered about losing this thing. I think a hate shell will <laughs> I think a HE shell will probably take this thing out anyway. Okay, so we need to get ten closer. Okay, no worries, we can do that. Yeah. Well, how's that gone? Next up is that big boy. Oh, didn't get it. Oh, and the mortar's coming after me. If we can take that out and then take the more if, we, if I can take that out then I'll bring the T-34 up and take the mortar out and then we can probably take the rest with infantry because we don't have to worry about that tank up there because unless we push up I mean we might just take it out in a way to say taking it out but unless we actually have to push up I don't think it'll be in range of us in the vanilla values right we're far enough away now I think we can probably repair so I actually, I wonder if I can do a sneaky shot through to that mortar. Where was it? Oh, jeez. We lost. Holy crap. We lost all but two of our crew. Okay, just chill out, chill out, chill out. On all fronts. <laughs> I do have to actually watch over on that left-hand side, though, to make sure we don't get counter-attacked. Right, we are up and running once more.
Well, shit. Okay, then. That didn't exactly go to plan. Bloody hell. Now, I know what you're thinking. But, oh, I thought this was an actual cannon. Oh, bollocks. Okay, I think this is probably going to die. This is going to die even quicker. Especially if I get hit by, hit by the mortar. Actually, I might just go for the mortar. These tanks are really cheap. Oh, you little bastard. Myself stuck. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still so gonna die. Attempt two. I might actually go third person in this so I can actually see what I'm doing. So, first we've got to defeat, first we've got to avoid the pack 40, then we've got to avoid the panzer strike, and then we've got to take out the, the mortar. Done. No, I'm dead. Oh no, he's not aiming in my direction. Okay, yeah, he is aiming my direction. <laughs> How many tanks is it gonna take to... <laughs> Problem is, I can't... I cannot attack this area with that bloody mortar there, and I am not losing my T-34. Yep, he's looking right at me. Can't really blame him. <laughs> I don't think I can see him in direct. Not a chance. Okay, what do I do? So I don't want to lose this thing and I don't want to go to the field in case this mines. Right, while it's focused, go. Oh, nice one. At least I got it behind a wall, right? Oh my god, this is impossible! Jesus Christ, it's bloody mortars! Oh, did I do any damage to it? Not a sodding bit. I really hope we get more XP or we're gonna absolutely be buggered before we've even started. This has got two shells to hide behind now. Oh! <gasps> we've only got a freaking done it, boys! Right. Now let's go trash this bloody mortar. We get mortars and AT guns. Wonderful. Oh, and we got two and a half thousand points. Perfect.